Be prepared for knives. Hmm. Be prepared for knives. Hmm. Be prepared for knives. Be prepared for knives. I have no idea how the audio is recording on this mm -hmm. thing. I know that I've said be prepared for knives like three times already. <laughs> Alright, then I'm just going to mute that stream and mute that. That should fix it. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me still, but I guess we'll find out. Alright. Warranty information. That applied. I can hear you just fine. So you warranty basically saying that any malfunction caused by unplugging the micro USB power cable from the headset, handheld controllers, or the base station while performing updates, they won't be liable for. In other words, leave it on and plugged in until the updates are finished. Let's see. This product is for your home entertainment, personal use only. Warranty is void if you use it for any commercial purposes. So don't make money off of their stuff. Okay, that's in there. Soft foam. And... There's no this side up that I'm aware of. It's a big old box. Holy shit. Ooh, shiny box. There you go. Shiny. Ooh. Now, how does shiny box open? Make sure there's no proprietary information sticking there. Oh wow. It's like foam lined and everything. And there's one of the lighthouses. I guess that's what they're called. Melting point and all that good stuff. Leave that there for now. I wonder how much of the total cost of the unit was the packaging. You know, that's a good question. It's a very nice package. I, I think I'll probably use it to keep it in like... There's like two different kinds of foam. I don't know if you can see that. But there's like a hard foam here, and then there's a really, really soft, squishy foam on the inside. Uh, the destructions. Room scale. Same stuff, huh? Is it the same thing on both sides? I guess so. There must be different languages. Alright. First thing I have to do is set up the room, which unfortunately I can't do because that couch is really heavy. That might have to wait a little bit. Uh, the rest of the setup process requires that, so this will be a very short stream. Anyhow, let's go into the box. Lighthouse. Lighthouse. Um, I don't have anything to do tomorrow, so... I mean, if you can hold off until tomorrow, I can help you with that. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know about that. I might try to 
shift it over a little bit at least. Ooh, shiny cube. That seems rather big for just those two, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Secret place. Yeah. Oh, there's actually three different kinds of foam. Look at that. Squ super squishy, semi squishy, and hard foam. Rigid. Power plug. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, that's probably the link cable between the two. And the power plug. Oh wow. Oh, it comes with all the mounting equipment and screws and bits and pieces and a guide for mounting the base stations. Huh. Yeah, this is a really, really good packaging. I like that. Ooh. You know, those do feel really nice. Power button, home buttons. No, oh, there's a button. It's just not just the trigger, but there's also a clicky button at the far end. Is, is there an explanation behind why there are rings at the top? Um, the rings, if you look at all the little indents, those are actually the markers. I don't know if you, I'm holding it right. But all the little holes here, those are actually sensors from the home base stations to track it. And the reason they have the ring is so it has, you know, left and right side, so it knows which way it's facing. Because if they just had one sensor on the top, it wouldn't know if it was being turned or what have you. So it's mostly for a positional thing, as far as I'm aware. And those would probably be, yep, those are the charging cables and stuff, which are wall plugs. Holy crap. That means I have two plugs, one for each one of the stations, two plugs for the charger cords, for the, hand, the controllers. I'm going to need four wall sockets <laughs> to have everything plugged in. So make sure your room has access to power, I, I guess is the takeaway on that. I want to charge those at some point, so I'll leave those out. I really think I'm going to keep this box just for storage. Alright. That's probably paper. You know, with all those cables, if you turn the wrong way, you're going to look like a Borg. Ah, there's the hub. And that would be the connection hub. I don't know if you can see the... I'm trying to look at my OBS, but it's on the other screen. Hold on. Let's see. Focus. F focus. Focus. Are you going to focus? I don't think you're going to focus. Cheap webcam wins again. Well, you can't see it, but this one says VR out and PC out. So this is going to be the hub where all this stuff for the VR and the headset. F focus. This camera sucks. What are you focusing on? Stop that. In my shirt? Yeah, I don't know what it's focusing on, but it's just acting a pain. USB, HDMI, and DC. I'm just power in. Oh, that's probably the power out for the headset. That's power in. USB. I'm not sure what that connector is. And an HDMI. Looks like one of those fat USB things. What's this? What is that? Is that double-sided? Oh, it's a piece of st sticky pad. Aha! Uh -huh. That's rather impressive. It's a piece of rubber, like actual rubber. Very high quality. That's got... St Ow! Very good adhesive on both sides. To stick this thing, I'm guessing under a desk or a table or what have you. I was not expecting that. I was expecting to have to use zip ties. Alright, and that would be lens cleaning cloth, which is really nice that they stack that with it. To clean the, if you ever get, you know, touch the lenses on the inside, actually clean the, 
screens. That's I like that. What is that? That is oh. Aha. Uh -huh. That would be the extra foam pad. Cause the one that's in there is definitely going to get dirty. Although that looks kind of racist to be honest. It says narrow face. And I know you were talking about the glasses and stuff like that. Um, that is actually an indent specifically cut out in the foam for the frames of glasses and stuff like that to make it easier to fit. Which, if I remember correctly, the Oculus does not have. Which was one of the selling points for me, you know, wearing glasses and all that. And that is HDMI, HDMI. Yep, that's just a male HDMI and a male HDMI to go between the little hub and your computer. God, there are cables and stuff everywhere. And now we get to the piece de resistance. Got a little bit of heft to it, it's not super heavy. It's not light by any means, but it's not heavy. Not sure what that is. I'm guessing that was supposed to be on the inside to cover the lenses, but it's not there anymore. And there it is. Yeah, it's got a piece of blue film over the lens. Cord. That looks really trippy on the inside. And you can see more of those cutouts on the side for glasses and stuff like that. It's actually really nice. It doesn't feel cheap, like I was afraid of. It's all sturdy. doesn't flex. Straps. It's got nice thick padded straps on the top. Elastic band. See, so build quality is pretty good on it. And for its price tag, it should be. The one thing I remember noticing was something about headphones. They're coming with a very short cable of headphones to go on this thing, and I don't see them. I wonder if I missed them. Where did that getting started sheet go? I know this had it on there somewhere. Did I just miss them? Oh, it says it's in here. Did I just overlook them? Clean cloth, USB to USB, that's another power plug, uh, that must be them. There. Yep, this, although I'm probably going to end up using my wireless headset for the actual gaming, but it's nice that they, because otherwise you'd have a, uh, it's got a plug on the back of the headset where you can plug headphones in. Uh, where's the cable? Right here. But if you think about it, if you have a regular pair of headphones plugged in there, it's going to be really, really long. And so they send you these with it. Which, to all the people that I've seen, have said that they're actually really high quality. They're not, you know, super cheap. Yeah, new earbud things. But it's just a much shorter line. So you have the two headphones, and then this plugs directly into the headset on the back. Which is nice, because then you don't have to worry about these long cables dangling around. Which is a really nice thought. I guess we'll see how good the quality is on them when we fire it up for the first time. And that... Oops, what's this? Secret patty.
Alright. That looks to be about it. So let's see. The rest of its warranty information. And what is this? Yeah, just warranty information, regulatory guidelines, that sort of thing. Alright, so that appears to be everything in the box. Which is also the end of this until I can get the rest of the stuff set up. So, until next time.